being a scuba diver means that you are self-sufficient and self-reliant because you know under the water you have your tank of, of breathing gas and your gear and a buddy and that's it and um, things rarely go wrong but when they do you need to be able to deal with that there's no guardrails uh, under the ocean um, and then I felt that especially in the College of Agriculture Food and Environment how could we realistically say we're training the next generation of citizens especially in terms of the environment if we're not talking about the water which is 70% you know, of our planet and allowing our students to go underneath it to look at what happens under the surface. The only prerequisite for the class is that students have to have um, an open water scuba diving certification. So that's if you were to go to any dive shop in the country and say I want to be a certified scuba diver, whatever program they would put you into uh, will get you the certifications you need to join this trip. So it was a half of, um, I guess, term class where we started about the middle of October and went all the way up until finals week. And we met once a week and we essentially um, went over everything that we learned per se online. We have to take so many quizzes through SSI, Scuba Schools International, and Dr. Hirsch went more in depth about everything just to make sure we really had it ingrained before we made the trip because obviously if we can't do it in the classroom or in the pool, they're not going to put us in a risky situation once we get there. We decided on Cozumel, Mexico for a couple different reasons. One, it is one of the top five dive locations in the world, five or ten. It's, 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 it's extremely awesome. Um, the dive shop that I work with, Dive Ventures, uh, here in Lexington, uh, has run dive trips uh, to Cozumel and to a specific resort, the Abira Star Resort in Cozumel, for almost 30 years. Um, we know the resort is of high quality, and the dive company attached to the resort, Dressel Divers, is world class. Uh, and we knew that we would have an excellent experience with them as customers, and that we would be uh, well taken care of and very safe uh, diving with them. So the three, four dives a day were incredibly fun, but also incredibly tiring. Um, my favorite dive, I mean, I want to say all of them. I think our deep water dives were really cool. I think it was more of just um, being able to be like, oh my goodness, I'm 130 feet underwater. And you look up at the surface and it's almost not even visible. It's just a surreal experience that not very many people have. But I also think, you know, the cleaning coral was, I mean, a once in a lifetime opportunity. We actually traveled to their nursery, their coral nursery, and we went down and there is big concrete slabs with some pillars on them. And we had like wire brushes, like bottle brushes, and we were cleaning all the sand and algae off of those. And then we had waterproof epoxy that we would take and put onto the coral slabs and then just stick the coral in them. The night dive was probably one of my favorites, if not the favorite. Um, the, to do a night dive, you have a flashlight and that's really just it. And you would do a night dive to see the life that is not out during the day. We were able to see uh, giant lobster and giant crabs, nothing like I've ever seen before. And also, um, I think we saw five different octopus. And it was just an amazing experience. Everything is so calm at nighttime. You know, my favorite part of a night dive, and this is always every night dive I've ever done, is that after the dive is over, you, you all kind of pop up as a group, you turn off your flashlights, and you're just floating there on the surface of the ocean. But you're just sitting there, and it's quiet, and you can see the stars and just talk about everything you saw. And it's just five or six minutes before the boat rolls in and people start chattering, where it's just, I don't know, really peaceful and very nice. Oh, that was super cool! <laughs> What I really wanted the students to get out of this, my sort of, you know, is this a successful experience or not, is the fact that they care more about the world around them. For the students to have this experience, uh, certainly in college under my supervision, which I was so lucky to be able to provide them, um, but just to be there in the water, to see the world around them, and to remember that this is special, and that there's still special things that exist out there and are worth protecting.